Hey, this is Caio. And this is Mike. From EssentialDeveloper.com. Okay, tomato six. Last time we stopped with this test passing. And I think we need some refactoring. Yeah. We can start from the tests, get rid of the duplication there. Maybe have a, a make SUT factory function like we did in the flow. So let's have a make SUT. And so far we need to give it a question. Let's make it a string and we need to pass some options. And this should return question for controller. And that's pretty much creating our system of the tests. Loading the view yeah. and returning. And here we need to pass the question. Okay, one. And we don't need to create these anymore. And the options. Here we don't care about options. So maybe we could have a default venue. Could work. And let's run this. Yeah, it still works. So we can probably have a one liner here. Yep, yeah, that's it. So here we can have a make SUT as well. And I like to show the options here, mm -hmm. being very explicit about it because of the name of our test. Right. So that's what it means to have no options. It's an empty array. So in here we can also do the same. But actually we don't care about the question in here. So we can probably give it a default value for this as well. Let's say it's an empty string. Then we can omit. I think it's more expressive, like I don't care about the question here, I just care about the options. Now we can probably have this. Yes. What about this one? We, we don't care about the question here as well. So I think I can get rid of this. I only care about the question in the header test. True. That was a good refactoring. And since we are here, we can probably unify those tests. We can just say build it load, render options. Yep. And we can probably move this assertion in here and let's have this in line, get rid of this test. So we test the zero case, the one case, we can even now add a second one. Second one. And okay. That should pass now. Yes. Cool. Can we just please add a, a helper section, a mark helper? Okay, you want to separate this? Yes, please. Okay, that's it. I don't like this. Yeah. It's quite ugly and verbose could extract in a helper function also. But since we are using it just in one place. It's very ugly, it's hard to read. Yeah. So even if I have one test, I want to make this test easy to read for my colleagues, for someone that is going to maintain this code. So I think we can have an extension on a table view just for the tests. Let's see how it might look. So if we have a UI table view extension, that I hope this should be private. If other tests need it, we, we can, can extract, it. extract it somewhere. So something like cell at index and it returns a cell. Yes, so actually let's call this a row and that's a row. So we create an index path here and then we return. Well, then it needs to be optional. Okay, well, this is self and index path. And this can be even in line, I think. So here we can just get cell at zero. That looks much better. And it can be in the assertion also. Okay, we are almost getting there. What if we have a method that returns a title for I cell at row? For the cell, yeah. Something like title at row. And this returns an optional string. And then we can return cell at row dot. Oops, it's full. Dot text label, question mark, text. Pretty much what we have there in our assertion. So now we can say title at zero and we can remove this. I think that looks much better. We can probably move this here as well. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so now we can add more tests here. A2 and the title at one should be A2. And we need to change the name of the test also. So now when VO loads, I just say renders options text. Options text, yeah. So we can probably just get this and say that at zero, it should be A1, at one should be A2. Yeah. Okay, 
I think this looks much, much better. So now let's refactor our view controller. As we said, this table view cell here has been created without a style and it's not being dequeued. Then we need a reuse identifier that right. can be private. So in my test, I don't care about how this cell has been created. If I break something, my test will go red. Right. So we could test to guarantee that we are dequeuing cells, but then we have to probably mock a table view or use some clever squizzling. I don't see much value in that. Right. I want to test behavior. And then I want to be free to dequeue cells if I want to, or I want to be able to change that. Exactly. Okay. So what I want to have is a dequeue function. It's a private one. Okay. Private function. And I want to dequeue cell. It should return a table view cell. It shouldn't be optional. And I should probably pass the table view. Yep. In table view. And then we have a table view here. Yeah, there is a UE missing at the end of, yeah, the Q. The Q. Yeah. Okay. Now we can ask the table view to the Q cell. Uh, let's use cell for now. And this returns an optional because maybe there's nothing mm -hmm. in the cache. And if there is one, we return it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we create one. And now we're going to use the right API. There is style.default. And it needs to match the reuse identifier in here. Mm -hmm. And I don't like this duplicated string. You might change these and forget to change this one right. during a refactoring. So we're going to fix this later. I just want to get my DQ cell in table view and run the test. I think we're going to be good. Are we? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And let's think about this. I think we can have a private let. Yeah, it's a constant there, right? We use identifier cell. And now we can just use the same here. Okay, I think another refactoring I just noticed here is that we don't need to give it a type. Yep. And in here we can do the same, but just then we need to initialize it. Yeah. I think that's all. I think that looks better now. Let's run the test. Okay, what's next? If we select something, what should happen? We should delegate it somewhere. Right, you need to be notify whoever is interested. Okay, so let's start with a test. Option selected. Mm, notifies a delegate. That's interesting. So we need some kind of delegate here. Could be a callback. Mm -hmm could be just a closure. Just a closure. I okay. think it's going to do it for now. Our assertion is going to be received answer is A1. Okay. And we're going to have a SUT with options A1. We could inject this function in the initializer and call it in the selection okay. code. So we can have something like receive answer string and we need to give it a callback where it can capture. Right. So we mutate this to be whatever we got here. Yes. And well, we need to select the cell. And to select the cell, we need to get a table view delegate and call table view SUT dot table view did select row at and we're gonna give it an index path like we had before. Mm -hmm. So let index path because index path row zero, section zero. That's capitalized. Yeah, so when we select, then we call this function with the selection yes. as the answer, right? Yes. I don't want anyone outside this question view controller to know about the table view. When I get callbacks, that just sends the model back. The model so far is a string. Yeah, the answer. Being okay. The model. Yeah, I agree. Because mm -hmm. if we decide at some point that table views are not good enough for our UI, maybe we need a collection view. Yeah. I don't want it to have to change anybody outside this UI layer. Yeah. So we probably need to give it a, let's call it selection. Okay. And this selection is a closure of type string to void. Yeah. And we need to capture this to selection. 
and private uh, var selection a string to void. Ah, we need to give a default value here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have a default closure. Nil, that does then? nothing, so nil. Yep. And default is nil. Okay, let me move this here. Okay, what is the problem here? Is it escaping? Yes, it is escaping okay. because we are holding. Yep. We need to change our make SCT. And good thing we have this method, otherwise we'd have to change all the tests. True. So we just change in one place and everybody gets it for free. Nobody else cares about this selection callback, so we can just have a default value as well. Mm -hmm. So selection will be the same. String to void. We can just give it a closure that does nothing as default. And this is starting to get ugly. So we might need to refactor this later. So far, let's do this. And then we have selection. Selection. What is wrong here? Okay, let me try to build this and let's see what happens. Well, so this method is in the protocol mm -hmm. is an optional. So we need to this question mark here. And what is the problem in here? Ah, we need to define this as escaping as well. Okay, let's run this test and hopefully it will fail. Okay. And it does. So the same thing we did before, we need to set the delegates for the table view. And we can do this in this interface builder. Go back to the tests. We now need to implement that method. Okay. Automate is done here. Let me just yeah, yeah, finish this. So let's make this conform to table view delegate. Now I can get auto completion and it's like row. Call our selection closure and pass the model at index path. So it's options at index path dot row. Let's run this. It okay. Passes. Tomato done. Nice. Okay, so we started this tomato with refactoring, and I think that's very important. Refactor often, like I don't think we should wait to refactor when we need to change things, otherwise it's going to be too late. Mm -hmm. We do stuff with tests and we refactor. That's the TDD walks. It is, it is the third step of the walls, right? Yes. The refactoring, so it is mandatory. Yes. Red, green, refactor. So the code is always clean, it's always tested, 